Hey, Procreate Dreams has just released version 1.09, which is finally bringing undo and redo buttons, which I've definitely been looking forward to. So in this video, I'll walk you through all these new features, plus recent news on the selection tool. So let's dive in. When you first open up a new document, you will notice nothing looks different. That's because you have to actually enable the undo and redo buttons in the movie settings. To do that, go and tap the movie title here. Next, you will tap on preferences here and you'll notice these settings are organized a little differently. We now have several new options in the history group here. So to enable the undo and redo buttons, you will toggle them on here. So now when we exit the setting, we have the undo and redo arrows next to the timestamp. But since there's no history, they're transparent. But as you can see, after drawing something, you will see that the undo arrow becomes dark. If I tap it, it will become light again, and then that redo button, as you can see, will become dark. Next update we have is the undo redo gesture control. Going back to the settings, you can see that they have added the ability to disable the undo and redo gestures here. Once toggled off, you won't trigger the undo or redo with your fingers. Last update we have is the default timing for Rapid Undo, which has been slowed down to 0.6. I believe originally it was set to 0.1, which this update should help if you are struggling with triggering these Rapid Undo's. And as with before, you can use the slider to adjust the delay to your preference. And then outside of the 1.09 updates, we got some news on the lasso selection tool. This past week, Procreate posted a Q&A on Instagram where they addressed timing on the lasso tool, saying that while it is a top priority, they will be releasing a lot of smaller updates and improvements before the selection tool. So I wouldn't expect the lasso tool in the next couple of updates, which is really frustrating. I know for me personally, there's been so many times where I really could have used it on a project. And so that's all the new updates. If you want to get caught up on previous updates, then tap the info card to be taken to my Procreate Dreams playlist. And thanks again for watching. What are your thoughts on these latest updates? Are you excited for the undo redo buttons? Share your thoughts in the comments below.